Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. James Wiseman was traded at the deadline from the Golden State Warriors to the Detroit Pistons. He's one of the most intriguing players based on his story, not playing in college too much, getting to the NBA, being a two-way guy, just trying to figure out his footing. And now in Detroit, he has a place to do that. So let's look at his stats since he's been traded. 10 points per game, 8 rebounds, shooting 54 from the field, 56 true shooting, half a block per game. You can already see the improvement with the ability to get playing time on a consistent basis. Now let's look at the film and see what James Wiseman is doing and talk about his potential future in Detroit. Defensively, James Wiseman has the tools to be great at this end of the floor. It all starts with this one-on-one -on -one ability. You can see in these first few clips, he does a great job at getting his stance, having active hands, being pretty active with his feet, being physical with his chest, being that point of contact, being able to just try to guard his yard. He's very raw still at trying to figure this out, but I think he does a really solid job when he is in these one-on-one -on -one situations at sitting down, guarding his yard, and just trying to be as solid as he can be. This clip here against the Magic, you can see it when he's guarding his position. He does a really good job at baiting, being active, and then contesting there, but just really solid, really raw, and still trying to figure it out. Next, it comes down to him in the drop, in the pick and roll, just being a guy that can cover space, make things difficult for an offensive player to get to the spots they want, being able to cover too. He's still trying to figure it out, but because of his athletic ability and physical tools, I think he's doing a pretty solid job so far. He's dropping back, he's playing that cat and mouse game with the ball handler, he's contesting shots, he's getting back to the roll, he's just making an all around effort. And then at the end of the day, his athletic ability makes him a threat to be a potentially big time shot blocker. The way he flies around the rim, the way he's able to cover space so quick, his timing on shots is already there. I'm excited to see him continue to get these opportunities to protect the rim and be one of the best shot blockers in the NBA in the future. Now to go to the other end of the floor, I think his offensive skill set is one of the most raw and incredible things in the NBA. For a 7 foot guy, the way he moves up and down the floor, the way he can handle the raw jump shot, the way he is able to just show his skills in flashes, I think is what makes Detroit feel so good about this trade, so good about this move for a team that already has so many big men. He's so unique offensively and has so much variety. But at the end of the day, so far, he has shown an ability to be a true big man in the paint. He's shooting 59% on twos. He's figuring it out. He's doing well at putting himself in spots to make himself available for the guards that are getting downhill. Really good in the porches. As we can see in this first part of the offensive video, he's floating the paint. He's making himself available. He's catching. He's putting it down when he has to. But at the end of the day, he is finishing these plays at an incredibly high level. Next, when it comes to offensive rebounding, he's averaging eight rebounds per game so far, and he's being a physical force on the glass for Detroit. He's getting down there, he's bodying up, he's catching it high, keeping it high, and finishing these plays. A really good asset to have, and just the stick to that he has shown on the offensive boards has been great so far since he's been traded to Detroit. The next part of his offensive game, though, is definitely in the pick and roll as a screen and diver. The way he's starting to develop as a screener is opening himself up even more to be a diver. The way he's able to turn, find the ball, make himself available, have his hands ready for the catch, catching it, and just finishing these plays. He's a really nice floater, really nice, able to put it on the bounce for one or two, get to the rim and finish close. And then he's also a great athlete to finish above the rim. And lastly, let's talk about his post game. He is a raw and highly skilled post player. The way he's able to get one or two dribbles, spin move, drop step, hop in the middle of the lane, hook shots, just the variety he already has in his post game. Yes, he is left hand dominant right now, but I think he can easily translate this to getting to his right hand, having multiple moves, using fakes, ball fakes, all the above, the skill level is there, so it's just the point of him getting the reps in and being that high-level post threat back to the basket guy that I think he can beat. Him and Cade at the offensive end of the floor in the future can be a dynamic one-two punch, and I'm excited to see him continue to grow and develop. James Wiseman has such a bright future ahead of him. I'm happy that he is in Detroit in a place where he can get these reps in, take the bumps, learn from his mistakes, and grow as a player. He's one of the most exciting young guys to watch, and I'm excited to continue to tune in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something about James Wiseman and his game. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.